Hi, I'm Clem Smith. I'm just here to give you a talk about on how I start my young horses. So basically what we do is we start them off, we get them so they're quite relaxed. Uh, they establish paces when they're just in their general flat work in their trot to canter because I don't like to start the horses jumping until they have got a little bit of balance in their canter as the horses tend to not be able to cope with jumping the jumps if we if you start jumping them too early then they start to get a little heavy in your hands then you start to run into bidding problems then so the simpler you can keep it so the longer you can keep them in a snaffle the better so once we get them established in their paces we then introduce them to having some trot poles on the ground um, we'll even just start with a pole on the ground to start with just quietly just trotting over those once they get quite relaxed with that well then we tend to put four to five poles in a row roughly a meter apart so then they can just quietly trot through there without allowing the horses to run through the rails um, then once they start to get a little established with that then we add another pole on the ground maybe three or four strides after that on with a set of wings at each end so then they get used to trotting down trotting over the pole get used to the wings then once once we get them nice and relaxed doing that we then take a couple of the trot poles away then have it so the horses trot down to a little cross rail and then allow them to canter away and after they get a little used to that then having a pole out the back of the cross rail which is probably two and a half meters away so when they jump the cross it then encourages them to want to canter away from the jump then <coughs> excuse me then once that keeps going with that then they get you know the more relaxed they get well obviously the more you start to do with the horse so we then put some poles on the ground have them four or five strides apart and then try to encourage the horse to just quietly canter down over the poles then once we feel they're coping with that quite well we'll then start to build a little exercise for the horse so to start with we tend to have a pole three meters before a cross then another pole three meters after then another little jump two strides after that so then it just makes it quite easy for the horse they don't have to think too much about coming to the jump that gives them more time to think about how they're going to jump the jump then as they slowly progress through that you think well they're feeling confident then we put another little exercise maybe three or four strides after that so then they can just canter down to that the same thing again make it quite easy for them so then it takes a fear factor out of it for the horse then so the more the horse feels relaxed well obviously the better he's going to jump the jump because when you do start to jump your courses it's more on how you travel to the jump is how good he's going to jump that jump so that's a lot what we start with and then as they slowly progress through that well then we start to introduce them to jumping around the course but just start off with poles all the time don't try and jump them over spooky things same thing again you want to try to keep the fear factor out of it then once we do start to jump our little courses we try to have some ground poles so they're out a little bit in front of the jump so then same it makes it a little easy for them to jump it and then as time goes on then you slowly bring a little bit of fill in maybe one or two bits in a maybe five or six jump course and obviously you keep progressing with your um, flat work and that because the main main thing you want to try and work towards of, is the better your horse's canter is as carrying himself it is going to be much easier for the rider to ride to the jump and it's going to be easier for a horse to jump the jump okay that might do us thank you